Hey, Tony here. Today I want to tell you all of the films that I watched during the month of February. We had some really good things going on during the month of February. We had the Buddy Cop Month that Ken at Midlevel Media was doing. And I also participated in the action movies, the top action movies throughout so many years um, that Jinxy Cat was doing on Instagram. So you'll see a mixture of action movies and also Buddy Cop movies um, throughout the films that I watched during the month. So first up, on the first day of February, I watched Dirty Harry. Really good film. I really did enjoy Dirty Harry. And I am definitely looking forward to checking out the other three that I haven't seen from this set. And then for Buddy Cop Movie Month, I watched 21 and 22 Jump Street, which were great. Really did enjoy those. I watched Mad Max The Road Warrior. Um, really looked, um, really enjoyed that one. It, I had never seen it, but I had never seen that one before and really enjoyed it. I um, also watched um, First Blood, which was great. I really enjoyed that one. And then I took the time to watch for the very first time Beverly Hills Cop, which I really enjoyed. And I watched Blade Runner, another great one that I've seen before. And then, of course, I watched The Terminator. I really enjoyed this one also. And then I watched Top Gun. And I watched Robocop, the first movie again. Really enjoyed that one. And Bloodsport was a great one. And then I watched The Hard Way. First time seeing this one. Great film with Michael J. Fox and James Wood. And then I watched Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. Always enjoy watching that one. And then I had a first time watch for Murder, um, for Murder on the Orient Express. Really great film. I'm definitely looking forward to watching um, The Death on the Nile, I believe it's called. Which I hope to see that one in the theater. And then I also watched Point Break. Um, this was a first time watch for me. I really enjoyed this one with Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves. And then I took time and watched um, T2, Terminator Judgment Day. Really enjoyed this one. Um, it's one of my favorites. And this actually looked really good and sounded really good. So I'm not really sure if... I, anyways, I know there's a bad transfer for this. But it looked great to me. And then I watched Universal Soldier, which I always enjoy watching. And then I had a first time watch for Leon the Professional. I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was great. Um, wasn't really sure what I was getting into when I watched it. Um, I hadn't really um, researched it enough to know what it was all about, but I really enjoyed the performances. Great story. And then I watched Heat. Uh, this right here was a second time watch for me watching this. I forgot how long it was, but I really did enjoy this film. And then I watched The Crow again. Great film. I really do wish that we would get a 4K release for this movie. And then I took a break from the physical media and I watched The Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix. And then I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun movie. I really enjoyed the kills. Um, there were some parts of it that I didn't enjoy as much. But overall, I thought it was a really fun uh, fun watch. Okay, next up I watched Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2. I still need to see Bad Boys 3. And then I watched The Last Duel, which I really, really enjoyed. I hadn't seen this one before. Great story, great performances. I liked that. Um... Um, period piece from the time that this was set in and I just thought it was really a great film and then I watched uh, the Fast and the Furious this is my first time watching this on 4k I thought I thought it looked pretty good and for the first time I watched the transporter um, enjoyed this one also and I watched Red Heat and then I also watched Beverly Hills Cops 2 and 3 which was great. And then I watched 48 Hours. This was the first time I saw this one. I really enjoyed it. And then the follow-up for another 48 Hours, which was great. I really enjoyed this one. I think Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy do a great job together. And then lastly, for the last day of the month, I watched Buried. I had never seen this one before and had heard a lot of great things about it. Just never took time to watch it. And so I'm very happy that I was able to watch this. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of February. I am watching one movie. I am watching at least one movie a day, sometimes more throughout each day of the year. And just kind of weeding through my collection, trying to get a lot of these films watched. This is my second year doing this. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the particular films that I watched. 
And also leave me some recommendations of things, of some films that you think I should check out. Because I definitely could use your recommendations. I do try to watch something different every day. I'm not sure exactly if there's going to be another theme this month. But any recommendations, I'll, I'll try to watch those. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd, where I actually list every single film that I watch each day. So you can kind of follow along with me um, in my diary to see what I watch each day. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.